Patrick, I just came from San Francisco, where the city apparently collects fat and grease from restaurants. And they, they said that the, the, the good grease comes due to be made into biodiesel, and I was hoping you could tell me about what you do here. Absolutely. Let's go. Here's our truck. Once you pump it out of the pump truck, what happens next? Well, it comes over to these settling tanks to get settled and dried, and then it goes into our processing room to be turned into biodiesel. What is this right here I'm saying? This is our processor. Our waste cooking oil comes in through this pipe, and then our methanol and our methyl oxide come through these two pipes into this reactor here. It is then mixed in the reactor until it's, the reaction's done and it's turned into biodiesel. So what you're basically saying is you're mixing the methanol and methyl oxide with the fat and over time it becomes biodiesel. That's correct. It's okay. a chemical reaction. What happens next? After the reaction's done in the reactor, we bring it back into the processor room for a final wash and polish. Then we pump it into our storage tanks right here. Whoa, those are huge. You have two of them. How many gallons inside? 30,000 gallons each, Todd. 30,000 gallons. 60,000 gallons of biofuel. French fries turning into diesel fuel right there.